Hey there guys, so today we have another basic beers and we're doing Bia de Gade, which is a French farmhouse style. Generally, most people would be uh, familiar with uh, Belgian farmhouse ales as in uh, Saisons, but there is also the French farmhouse ale and that is the Bia de Gade from the north of France. And what we're covering today is uh, the original French farmhouse ale, they actually say on the label. Uh, this is from Brasserie du Ic. This is Jeannin Ambré. Um, yeah, this is, again, the original in the style, just like Saison Dupont, which is the original Saison. Uh, many would consider to, this to be the original in the style and really what it should taste like. Uh, talking more about the style is pretty interesting. It is a mixed uh, style beer, so it has an ale yeast generally, uh, but then it, there's a lagering process from four to six uh, weeks. They store it at 32 degrees. And then what happens as a beer is that sometimes it offers these kind of like leathery, old school kind of like... Um, a cellar kind of flavors like corky and musty and then in general this style is going to be just a lot more malty than your traditional uh, saison uh, from belgium so let's dig in they have similar histories and if you really want to le uh, learn more about the styles obviously uh, check out um, farmhouse ales from phil markowski so that's really the uh, bible of, the of these two styles but digging into beer de gout uh, comes in a really lovely color comes in a uh, medium amber color just a nice looking beer. Yeah, nice <laughs> malt, look, uh, malt looking medium amber color, nice off white head on that. Yeah, let's get the aroma on this. Mm, okay, yeah, very sweet. It smells uh, sugary, um, a little bit of this kind of like uh, candy kind of quality, maybe a little bit of caramel. But yeah, uh, they describe it as white sugar, and I certainly can see that there is a wonderful kind of sweet kind of quality to it. Mm, wow. Really defined by the malts. Um, again, I'm, I'm looking at the notes that uh, uh, Phil Markowski's book has. It says earthy, musty cork notes. I'm not really maybe getting a touch of that. I'm maybe getting the earthiness, maybe a spice of licorice, uh, spicy malt, but really it's defined by just a lot of malty sweetness. Maybe a hint of like um, like a, a preserved fruit, you know, like a dried uh, apricot or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but then I, as you wait more, there's a little bit of that kind of like funky, musty kind of thing. It's pretty interesting. Cheers. By the way, I've never had this beer. So you're exploring with me as well. Oh, that's quite nice. Wow. It's actually not as malty as uh, the palate um, or the aroma gives off. But yeah, uh, up front there's a nice kind of like, again, like a fruity kind of sweetness. It has this kind of like preserved kind of quality. Again, uh, jams, preserves, a little bit of this kind of, again, like um uh, preserved uh, apricot stone fruit kind of thing a little bit of like um, preserved uh, orange peel and uh, orange marmalade kind of thing but then you also get a nice kind of uh, breadiness in the middle it's a nice kind of hop quality uh, towards, the, towards the back end which really cuts away at the beer it really moves on the palate pretty well um, it has wonderful balance to it so it sort of has that kind of um, saison kind of quality this beer comes at 6.5 percent but really drinks a little uh, like drinks better than that drinks better than what the malts perceive on the um, appearance and aroma yeah it's actually like moves on palate quite nicely again you get those little fruity notes and then a nice pop of that kind of like um, earthy bitterness that jumps out. It even offers a little bit of green quality. So it drives away the beer quite nicely. Again, really nice structure on the beer with a little bit of like um, uh, bready malt quality in the middle. They say it has a, a sugary sweetness, but it's really balanced out by that dry hot bitterness. And I certainly see that. Drinks quite nicely, really nice stuff. Yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit more malt accentuated and you really like a nice balanced uh, farmhouse ale slash saison, Check out a beer to God. Uh, this one's fantastic. Really nice stuff. Offers wonderful drinkability for 6.5%. So check out the style. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.